Hey everybody, this is Susie. Um, I have a project I want to share with you guys. I'm making a card. This is my demo that I made. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I'm going to do this one just a tiny bit different. Instead of stamping the sentiment in um, Coastal Cabana, I'm going to stamp it in black. So, let me show you. So, I'm using this embossing folder. This embossing folder is called Lovely Floral, and this is a dynamic folder. And I'm also going to be using this stamp set, Time for Tea. I'm not using the framelits that come with this set. Um, I got them, but I'm not using them for this card. Uh, so, we're just going to use the photopolymer stamp set. Okay. <clears throat> All right, um, for the layers of the card, this piece is cut one inch by four and a quarter, and I used um, my Fisker's uh, corner punch. I have the uh, details punch coming in the mail, be in the mail today, but I haven't got it yet, so um, I just used this, and I just... I just put it in this way and stamp that corner and then just turn it over and stamp the other corner and same for the other side. And I got a couple pieces of double sided sticky tape on that. And then the, well the ovals that we're using for the layers, um, I didn't measure this way, I measured this way. I could measure it that way too. So that it's approximately two inches wide by this is three and an eighth long by two inches wide. And then this one is three inches wide. And I just used some dies I had in my stash. I don't have the Stampin' Up layering dies yet, but I do want to get them. Um, so this piece here I embossed with a dynamic folder. And this piece is um, four and three quarters by three and a half inches. My card base is a top folding card base and it is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then my layering piece is from the Time for Tea um, DSP Designer Series Paper Pack. And this one measures five and a quarter by four. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up again. I think that's better now. That's much better. Yay. All right. Okay, and then we're gonna take the, the die that I'm gonna use to cut it out, and I'm gonna center that. I'm sure my hands, oops, let me put this ink away. So one, I don't get my hand in it, and two, so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this lined up to where it looks centered. All right, so now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take a pencil, look at that one more time, and I'm going to trace around the outside edge of this die. And this is just gonna give me guidelines as to where to do my stamping. Give me an idea where to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is obviously not perfect. Okay, and that just gives gives me a, that way I know where to do my stamping at. Alrighty, so first 
I'm going to do my flowers and I do the um, I do the stamps so that it's backwards um, I do the detail stamp first and then the fill in one because the way these stamps are made um, it's easier for me to to get it lined up doing it that way Right. I swear, Melon Mambo is does not like me at all. I spend more time trying to clean the ink off my hands than anything else. Look at how inky I got yesterday. <laughs> it's everywhere. All right, so I'm going to start with the detail. And I'm just going to do this, stamp this here, there, and everywhere. All right, and I'm going to turn my flower. There's a little a little point at the bottom of this flower, if you can see that. And that helps me get this flower lined up. And I don't want to do any full images on here. I'm going to stamp basically between the, the, the line and the inside. In some areas, I'll do the flower just barely over the edge, and other ones I'll do more. Oops, I got a little bit of ink on my block, and I learned the hard way yesterday if I get ink on my blog, get it off because it will end up on my card where I don't want it. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn this little flower around so that I can get a little bit different variation on my flower. good hopefully not too much flour <laughs> all right and now I'm gonna go do the inside of my flower to get this ink put away and hope I don't get any more on me than I already do the problem is is the lid is broke on this ink pad and it's really hard for me to close it and open it well opening it, it's not so bad it's closing it where I have the problems anyway that's when I end up getting it all over myself and there's pink on my towel so I'm assuming I got some on me <laughs> all right and the next color I'm using is blushing bride And this color I am going to stamp off. It's way too dark um, without it. You can see probably, yeah, right there, that it's it's quite it's quite dark, and I don't want it quite that dark. I don't typically do like a full smush because I don't want all the color gone. And even inking off it so it gets a little dark sometimes. Alright. 
Okay, and I'm going to stamp this in full color. And I'm trying to avoid getting uh, getting ink on the areas of the pink that are going to show. I'm trying to um, stamp around that. Luckily, there's lots of open places, and the leaves are kind of small, so I can get them in there. And I'm putting ink on all of the stamp just because I'm not sure until I get it up there what area that I want to do the stamping on. So I think if I bring that one up. Oops, I got that in a little bit further than I wanted to. And this does look a little bit like a hot mess for, um, until we get this die cut. So now I'm going to, oops, I hope you guys could see that. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to ink up that top leaf and then I'm going to use a wet wipe and I'm going to wipe the ink off of the areas that I don't want ink. So I'm just going to leave ink on that top flower like leaf. Because I want it in there. Oops, I got it a little in too far. Dang it. Oh well, I'll just leave that one as leaf. Okay, time for the inside. That is good enough, I think. Before I get stuff on places I don't want it. Okay, and now... I'm going to use the soft sea foam. And I'm not going to stamp this color off either. I'm going to stamp this full, full on color.
just want ink on that one. So I'm going to wipe the ink off again in the places that I don't want it. Again, I'm only putting ink on the part of the leaves that that I'm stamping so that I don't get ink where I don't want it. So I'm just being really careful about what part of the stamp that I put the ink on. one right here. <coughs> okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to lay the die on here and get it put where I need it. And then I'm going to use some, uh, some blue painter's tape to hold down my die. I need to turn it around. <laughs> You know, I wasn't going to put ink on that one, but I think what I'm going to do is just put it on the areas again that I want to ink up. So I didn't put it on all of that top leaf area, just on part of it. I did not do that now because I got ink where I didn't want it people nah. that's okay I'm gonna put another um, I'm gonna put another uh, leaf on there because I got a little bit of ink right here where I didn't want it so I'm going to remedy that by um, covering it up <laughs> that. Yay! 
Never know now, huh? Yay! <laughs> you know what? I keep changing my mind. Uh, because I got that one spot in there further, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side because it's going to bug me to death unless I do. Perfect. And now to do the inside parts. Make sure I didn't get any ink elsewhere. Awesome. I like that. That looks nice. I'm happy now. It was it was off and I oh no. My fingernail slipped off of my ink pad and my fingernail took a gouge out of my ink pad. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Well, maybe not cry, but be sad about it anyways. Darn it, anyhow. I gave my stamp pad, my ink pad, a boo-boo. Okay. So now, I am going to pause for just a second, and I'm going to go die cut this out. Okay, so I got it all die cut out. And it looks so nice. Um, so now I am using, I'm using the little straight, you can see that, the little straight part of um, this sentiment stamp. Let me turn it around so you can look at it. So what I did was, so this, this, and this was all one stamp. And I cut them apart so that I could use them individually and be able to use this piece here individually um, so that's where I got that part and okay so now I'm just using coastal cabana ink and I'm going to uh, I'm going to stamp that just underneath the word happiness I'm just getting a look at where I need to place that and get the wetness off of there. I think if it's really wet from cleaning your stamp off, it uh, doesn't help the... Um, the ink be the right color. There we go. That's not too bad. 
wanted to get a little touch of that color and I'm honestly I'm not sure if I'm like super in love with it but yeah I don't know sometimes you should leave well enough alone what do you guys think why don't you let me know I think I liked it maybe a little bit better before I did that but oh well it's too late now huh <laughs> Okay, so now um, I'm going to put some pop dots on the bank. You can see that I uh, I made a boo boo, so I just turned my card over and used it. And I had some bigger pop dots, but I don't know where they are right at the moment. So I'm just going to use my minis. I don't like having to use the minis and unless I need to because well you use a lot more of them than than you would the bigger ones obviously cuz they're not as big but And I tend to get a little OCD about my foam tape and dops. So, <laughs> oh, geez. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pokey tool. And there went my bottle of soda. Luckily, the lid was on it. I watch a lady's video and she uses her pokey tool to pull off her her foam uh, thing so I'm giving it a whirl I think the Stampin Up pokey tool is a lot pokier than mine is <laughs> but it's not working too awfully bad here actually it works pretty well look at that I got all of those off in record time <laughs> that works really well I'm gonna have to let her know how well that worked for me. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description box. I really like her and I'm drawing a brain fart right now on her name, but I'll have a, a link in my in the description area for her YouTube channel. And she's just the nicest. Her name is Gala, I think it's Stamp with Joy, or Stamp for Joy, Stamp with Joy, something like that. Make sure I got that on there. Good. I think that's good enough. All right. to use some glue and glue this piece down I just love this paper it's so pretty and I was gonna use this paper uh, when I made my original card that I did and use one of the other pieces, but I um, let's 
Sorry, I'm concentrating and not talking. <laughs> Anyways, I'm all stamping along and everything and then realize that, hey, I didn't use any of the right colors in my card that went with the paper. So I got lucky and found a piece that... Um, that was, uh, didn't have anything other, any other color except for the Coastal Cabana, so that worked. And it got a little too far over, but it's not gonna move, so I guess I will call that good. Okay, all right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna peel this back um, just a little ways and then fold it over on both sides just like that and then I'm going to get this one side lined up Just pull these two tabbies out. Perfect. And that just helps you get it on there straight so that it doesn't accidentally stick stick on there for you when you're not quite ready for it yet. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stamp my sentiment and the little teacup on the inside of the card. And I'm going to grab my black ink. And I lined the word and the cup um, up on my block and that way I got them spaced correctly and there wasn't nothing crooked or anything and then it just makes it easy just to stamp it all at once and evidently there was a hair on my stamp that stinks I got a little tiny hairline and it almost looks like the steam from the tea, so that's what I'm going to pretend that it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hit this with my heat tool because the Versafine Black Onyx ink takes just a minute to dry. And I don't want to, at this point, ruin the card. Hit that, and then I'm going to grab my little my little line with the squiggle again in my Coastal Cabana so that I can tie both of my uh, front of my card in with the inside of my card and make everything matches. Carefully. 
right with it. Okay, and I'm going to um, hit that with my heat tool one more time. Okay, and I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to really carefully set this on top of my stamped images and I'm just going to make sure that there's no wet ink left anywhere so it doesn't end up smudging and it didn't but better safe than sorry right okay so now I can get rid of my stamping paper all right and I'm going to close this ink up and put it away real quick I used the back of one of my boo-boos <laughs> so nobody will ever know and well except for you guys <laughs> okay all right so I'm not quite ready to put that on there yet so all right so the flower is towards the bottom and I'm just because I have dimension on here I'm gonna use wet glue to glue this piece down just going to go up at the top of my card but in just a tiny bit okay and give that a press ink on my fingers. Alright. Okay. And I have a piece of scrap ribbon and I have a cup and I'm just going to lay my ribbon on here and as close to the end as possible because I don't want to waste any of my ribbon. This is the last of this Coastal Cabana ribbon that I have, so I'm trying not to, to waste too much of it. All right, and okay. All right, perfect. Whew. Time to breathe, I was holding my breath. <laughs> and then I'm just going to uh, cut the ends at, at angle. like that and then I'm going to take this off of here and I want my ribbon to be um, on the side a little bit so I'm going to want to cut it about here all right and then I'm going to grab a pop dot And use my little pokey tool to... Oh, no. Get back on there, you. It's trying to come off the... Come off the thing. 
not having none of that. Okay, so I got me a little sticky dot. And I'm going to uh, put that on the bottom of my bow. To hold my bow in place. some regular tape and I'm just going to pull off a couple of pieces of this tape and this is just regular old scotch tape and I'm going to uh, first I'm just going to tape one side down and I want to hold that tight okay and then I'm going to get it lined up the right way. It's not, it needs to go up just a little bit. <laughs> and again, I'm going to hold that tight. tape down and then I'm going to snip off this little piece of extra ribbon. I don't know if I'll be able to use that for anything but I'll hang on to it just in case I figure something out. Perfect. And I'm going to grab one more pokey dot or sticky dot because it's wanting to kind of turn up on me right there, so I'm just going to grab one more of these. And I'm going to pop it underneath the edge of that ribbon. There. Perfect. Perfect. Yay. That's perfect. Okay. And I have some crystals that I showed you guys in my last video how to make using your Stampin' Blend markers and your crystals. find my blue ones okay so I'm going to pull one of these little crystals off of here and I'm gonna set that right in the center of this flower okay and then I'm gonna grab two more Okay, there's one. Let me see if I can pick this one up with my pokey tool. Well, I can fling it off with my pokey tool. <laughs> okay, perfect. Awesome. All right. And now I'm going to grab a piece of foam. And I want it, because this is pink, I don't want it to show. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make sure and cut it smaller than my pieces. But still, 
big enough to cover most of it. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to glue that down. Okay. And um I'm going to grab my uh my pop dots, my little ones here. And I'm going to put one on each corner because I don't want the corners of my paper getting sunk in, if you know what I mean. Just like that. Okay, and pull these off. Okay. Alright, and now I'm just going to put glue on this. Alright. Perfect. Okay, and now we're just going to place this in the center of our card, and then our card is done, you guys. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to glue that down. And voila, our card is done, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. And leave me a comment. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And um, do my absolute best to make sure that I answer you within a, a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Any who's it's. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye for now.